So now that we have learned how to add a complete page, like now we have shown how to add this very postmasters page, we can decide to add sub pages. Okay, there's a way you can add sub pages in Notion and you can easily navigate around and move within the very Notion page and other sub pages. So for example, this very place we have too much information. For example, the meeting, the February meeting, the March meeting, we can have the meeting rules explained. Over here, we can have the speaker detail move to another page. You can just click on this and maybe come down here and create another, maybe hit on the four slash and say heading one, say speakers detail, speakers details. And we can select all of these and move to the next page, a sub page. You can select and say, or you can come over here and say, turn into a page, page in. This is page in page. Okay. So this is page in page, turn into a page in. Kinta Valley, so you can just search for Kinta Valley over here. Okay, so you can see Kinta Valley Toastmasters Club. You just select this, and this now becomes a sub page within Kinta Valley. So you can move this one also. You can select from the six dot, select and say move to, you can call it speaker's detail. Okay, you can see it's speaker's detail. You can just click on this, and this table has been moved into this speaker detail, and you can come over here, hit on this small arrow, and you can see speaker's detail and registration page which we've created earlier on. So you can click on speaker's detail and you can see speaker's details and then that table that we've just moved down here. So you can see this is very basic on how to create a sub page. You can create another sub page also by coming to the main page and you can come to this small this plus sign. You can click to add a sub page. You can just go ahead and type something. For example, we can say the table topic session. Okay, and you can give details. The table topics master talks over the control. You can close on this. For example, you've created another sub page. So you can see we have two, three different sub pages. So we can have table topic session where we have this, and we can have the registration link where you have this registration page, and then we have the speakers detail where we have this as well. So you can move them easy. You can come all the way and have a look at them. So you can, you can have access to all of them. And one thing you should pay attention to is you can move them and rearrange them according to how you want them to follow. So for example, if I want this table topic session to come first. All I need is just to select, drag, and move it up. And you can see from the blue line, you can select a space. I want to make it to the top. You can see once I release, it becomes the top. And I want speaker's details to come down to the bottom. And you can do just that. And you can collapse all this from the main page. So you can see this is how to create a sub page within a particular page. So at any given point, if you want to, for example, you're working on this and you like because by the time you get to more pages you've created so many pages it may become a bit difficult for you to navigate around and go to a particular page so if you want you may start a given page so that at any given point you can come back to it so for example and they want to start this Kinta Valley Cruise Masters Club meeting and I'll come over to the start icon over here and just click to just start it and you can see it has now been added to my list of favorites you can see it's been added to my list of favorites and all the other sub pages can be found over here. So all your favorite pages, you can as well find them over here directly. So the three dots you have, once you are on a page, you can have these three dots, you can click on them and you have the options, a lot of options to deal with. For example, you can change the style of the page. You can select to change the style of the write-up. This is the, like the font style of the entire page. And then this one, you can change if you want. So I think I prefer this serif. And then you can make a small text. If you want, you can make a small text. And this right now is centered. You can make it full width from here. You can make the entire page to be full width, but I think the centered is a bit better. And then you can move this entire page to somewhere. Okay. So you can move it to somewhere by just click on move. You may want to customize the page to do other things, or you can you may want to lock the page to prevent any editing. So anyone walking here cannot edit anything. Whoever have access cannot edit. Even you yourself cannot edit until you come back and come to the three dots and unlock the page, then you may be able to add one or two things and edit. So there are so many things you can do over here. You can remove from the favorites if you want, and you can copy the link, you can duplicate the page. You can open in Mac app if you want directly from here, it will help you to open in a desktop app, and you can do and check his page history and other analytics as well from here, and you can import anything. I didn't tell you that earlier on, yeah, you can import any media, anything you can drag and drop even from your desktop or anywhere. For example, if I want to import any media, I want to add an image or for this meeting, I may want to add a poster to it, a meeting poster, which we have prepared 
specifically for the meeting i would like to drag and drop it from my desktop in here i can just do that okay and you can see it has just entered so this is about the speech well, let's say this is a competition but just to show you how to import a media in into the page that we have just created so another thing we, would, we can take a load of is you can convert these different uh, meteor roles you can convert them into now from the toggle list that we have we can convert them into maybe to do list you can select all of them you can come to this small six dot just click and you can have the option to turn into a header a, a page or a to-do list so once you just click on to-do list it will convert everything into a to-do list and you can see the timer with the details and every other thing is now into a to-do list so you can convert uh, and you can do vice versa as well you can go back to the top list by just coming to the six dots and turn into and then you can go back to the toggle list and i think it's much much easier and better you can just select to cover all of them all right so this is basically how to move things around create a sub page and walk around and you can move these subheadings across so you can drag anything from the six dot you can drag and move to the top you can move it very easily like this or you can take it to the sides and you can see you can move it now sideways to the top to any location of your choice up or bottom you can come down if you want you can move it to the left side as well or you can move to the top or bottom as well to any location of your choice so all up to you but these are very basic things that you can easily use so for example i want to keep it back here you can just drag and drop it back okay so this is a bit about how to create a sub page sub page within a page and some other key features that might be quite useful to you in Notion experience. That does it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.